Hey, hey, good morning. Happy Friday. How are we doing today, huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Hey, don't forget, today's offering day. Help us send this message around the world. And when you do, call me because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you. And I know a lot of people do their offerings on Friday and their tithes and their gifts. And I just thank you for it because we are reaching around the world with these messages and these videos and these books and everything. So we're because of you, we are able to be a huge blessing to everybody. So don't forget offering day today. Call me because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you that God gave us, huh? Also, if you need anything today, I am always here to pray for our partners. I'm always available. I'm probably the only minister in the country with a large ministry who is available and who actually answers the phone. Amen, isn't that refreshing? People go, is that really you? I go, yep, sure is. So I'm always glad to hear from people because I love God's people. I have a, a supernatural pastor's heart for God's people, and I just praise God for that. Hey, I want to talk to you today about the power in the name of Jesus. And even more important, how to use it. How to use that power. Now, uh, we, we sing every Sunday morning. We end up our, our uh, worship uh, set with that song, Break Every Chain. There's power in the name of Jesus. People think we do that because the song is so energetic and so entertaining. And it is. It's, it's just it's wonderful. But the reason we do that song is for me. I like it. That's why I like to sing it. I like to play it. Because it ministers to my heart. And it always reminds me of the power that is in the name of Jesus. Watch our Sunday morning service on Periscope. You'll see us do that song. Power in the name of Jesus. Now, here's the deal. Jesus is not here anymore. Gone. He left. He took 500 people, his disciples, his mother, and 500 people with him out to the Mount of Olives. And he stood there and he held out his hands and he blessed them. I'm sure he held up his right hand because that was the tradition. When you bless, you hold up your right hand. When you bless somebody, you touch them with your right hand. I always do that. People in church know, I always know, always right hand. I'm sure he raised up his right hand or both. And he blessed those people. And as he was blessing them, he went up and gone. And he went to be at the right hand of the Father. Oh my goodness, people. I am just getting goosebumps here just talking about it. This power that is in the name of Jesus. Gone. He's not going to heal anybody anymore. Now, I know everybody says, oh, Lord Jesus, just reach down and touch. No. In, in Romans chapter 10, in Romans chapter 10, Paul even tells us, he says, he says, in righteousness, you can see I've been on this page a little bit, and righteousness, which is a faith, speaks like this. Do not say in your heart or any other ways, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above. You cannot bring him down. But a lot of people say, oh, Lord Jesus, 
please reach down and touch me. And then they oh, and they feel like he's dead. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Or try to bring him up from the grave, it says. So Jesus is gone. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people don't like to hear, but it's true. Jesus has already done for us everything he's going to do. When Jesus was on the cross, he said, it is finished. Done. The end. He did everything he is ever going to do or everything he needs to do, everything he was sent here by Almighty God to do. He redeemed us from the curse of the law. And, but he didn't just leave us defenseless. He gave us his name. Use my name. It's like, if I'm a, a project manager on a big construction site and we're building the building, and up there on the 27th floor, they need to put in a certain type of drywall. So I tell one of the foremen, I say, go up there and tell them, this is how I want, this is how to do that, and tell them I said so. So he would go up there and he would say, Pastor Jim said, you're supposed to put it in a certain way. And they would do it that way. Because they know that when he said, Pastor Jim said so, that I'm going to back up what he said. If they don't do it that way, I'm coming up there. Nobody wants that. That's the last thing those workers want, is me coming up and saying, why didn't you do it? Say, well, you weren't here to tell us. Well, didn't he say that I said so? Now, this is how the power of attorney works. This is exactly the way the name of Jesus works. He said, you use my name to cast out devils, to heal the sick, to recover the sight to the blind. You use my name, John chapter 14, verse 12. You use my name to do what I did and even more. You mean to tell me I can do what Jesus did? How do I do that? By using the power in his name. Now here's the power in his name. When you use the name of Jesus in faith, you can't just say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 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 No. You say, in the name of of Jesus, body be healed. When you say it like that, and in faith, these signs shall follow them that have faith in my name. Mark 16, 17. They shall cast out devils. They shall lay hands on the sick. Not everybody. But only the people who have faith in that name. Let me tell you what, what faith in the name of Jesus is. I know that when I use that name of Jesus, all of heaven backs up what I said. And I know that when I pray in the name of Jesus, God's going to answer that prayer. And I know that when I speak to a sick person in the name of Jesus, God's going to heal that person. And I know that when I speak to a poor person and I say, increase in the name of Jesus, God is going to increase that person. I know it. 
because I know the power that is behind that name. That power that's, that's behind that name of Jesus is immeasurable. Everything else you can measure. You measure flour. You measure sugar. You measure water. I, I go down to the gym and I, I pump weights to make myself strong. But I can only, only pump and lift a certain amount of weight. I know how much weight I can lift in each exercise. I have a limit. The strongest, one of the strongest men in the world years ago, probably 50 years ago, was a guy from Georgia called the Dixie Derrick. His name was Paul Anderson. And this guy could live, lift an incredible amount of weight. And he was about five foot, six inches tall, and weighed over 300 pounds, just huge. Arms like this. He could bench press like 600 pounds, but he couldn't bench press 700 pounds. He had a limit. Even the strongest man in the world at that time had a limit on how much he could lift. The thing about the power in the name of Jesus is there's no limit. No, you cannot come up with a limit to the power that is in his name. It is so astronomical. It's beyond anything anybody could imagine. You can't write the number down. You can write the number down. Say, I can lift in a, in a certain exercise, I can lift 200 pounds. You can write that down. But you cannot write down the power that is in the name of Jesus. It's indescribable. It's immeasurable. And it is available to me through faith in that name. I can use it. He said, these signs shall follow them that have faith in my name. Tell the devil to get out and use my name to do it. Jesus said, get out. That's what you're saying. Oh, Jesus said it. Pew. Sometimes the devil will leave skid marks in the driveway. He pulls out. He leaves so fast. He will run at the sight of me because he knows I'm armed with that name. I have had sick people get healed when I walk in the door. A man with terminal cancer, dying of terminal cancer, was healed when I walked in the door. I never spoke over him. I never prayed for him. His cancer left him when I walked in the door and I was only in there a couple minutes. He got better right after I left. I said, what happened to you? He said, I don't know, but after you left, I felt 100% better. And I went back to the doctor a couple weeks later and he said, there's no cancer. That cancer left when I walked in the door because it knew the power that came with me. When I walk into a sick person's hospital room, that power, that immeasurable, indescribable power goes with me. When I speak to somebody on the phone, that immeasurable, indescribable power is right there to minister to that person, to bring that person a, a, a new body, a new heart, to be cancer-free, everything they need, because that power is on that phone. Glory to God. Call me today, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it. That power. I'm out of time. Today is offering day. When you make your offering, your tithe or your, your donation today, please call me because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you at the same time. Share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know they've got to watch these videos. The power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. You have a wonderful day. I love you very much. I will see you right back here again on Monday.